Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm going to do a video on how to take a uh, complete backup of your WordPress site manually and get it down to your desktop. Um, this is handy if you're working with developers or whatnot and you just want to have a backup of your site um, physically in hand so you can take it wherever you want and put it up on another server or whatever you like to do. So. Um, First thing, uh, we're in the WordPress dashboard right now, and I'm using this temporary domain you can see right here, and that's fine. We'll, we'll go ahead and use that for this video, but we're going to go back to um, our GoDaddy settings there, and when I click on this settings button, it's going to pop up with this dashboard here, and I can add a domain and do all kinds of other stuff, but for what we need is we need an SFTP, and then I'm going to open up my uh, transmit right here. And uh, we're going to switch that over to SFTP. And then I'm going to go ahead and just copy the credentials here. Paste them in. Copy that. Paste it in. And we're going to toggle the password. Copy that. And paste it in. Alright, so um, there it is. Let's go ahead and connect. Perfect, so that got us in. Now, um, there's a lot of different ways to, to um, you know, extract WordPress. Some people just like to take the um, WP content and WP config files, um, but that sometimes isn't complete because uh, depending on what version of WordPress you'd have to go find it and then reinstall it and it just becomes a pain so what you would do um, and this we're working with managed WordPress and GoDaddy but um, you know you can work with with really anything and um, you you're gonna bring all these files down into a folder and I'm gonna create a new folder right here and we're gonna call it um, we move websites because that's what I was uh, com. <clears throat> that's what I was using um, last time and generally when I do backups um, I'll go ahead and add uh, add a date so today is uh, 16 May just so I have the date um, in case I take one two or three weeks later I know I can either dispose of this one or what I'm working with there. So once you got all your files highlighted and FTP here, um, you're going to just go ahead and grab them and pull them down to whatever your backup folder is. And then you can see down here that um, download has started. Now sometimes these downloads take a little bit of time, so I wanted to get that going first in the video. And that can start working while we're uh, off and doing other things. So a uh, second piece of information that you need is your um, you're going to need your database because we're getting the files right now. So we go back to the GoDaddy dashboard and we click on database there. And then you'll see you've got this link here for what's called PHP My Admin. So we go ahead and pop that open. And then it asks you for a username and password. Well, you have that. You just toggle back to the GoDaddy screen. You copy that. You're going to paste it in there. And then you're going to go toggle the password again and copy that. And then we're going to paste it in there. Oh. And we'll go. So now you can see we're into another dashboard. PHP My Admin is what it's called. Um, and you'll be able to export your database from here. So you can see our database is here and right now there's nothing in it it's just a blank install but with all of this um, what you're going to do uh, if you've selected your database over here you're going to go to import right up here or I'm sorry export because we're going out um, SQL you can see is already selected for you right here and we're going to save file as all of this other stuff don't worry about it it's too technical for this video and uh, we're just going to click the go button here. So that zips the uh, SQL file down to our downloads folder and then uh, in this browser which is uh, Chrome you can do a show in finder 
and then that pops up over here in my downloads folder so with that we're, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, move it to the correct folder and on the Mac here I'm actually moving the file I'm holding the command button uh, and moving actually the file from the downloads folder over to the desk uh, the pseudo desktop folder and uh, that moves the actual file so there won't be an additional copy uh, made it'll it'll just keep my downloads file um, cleaner so now you saw a little pop up in the upper right hand corner that meant that my uh, download of all my files of WordPress are finished um, yours may take a little bit longer um, to do one thing you do want to check um, when you do your download is you go into now we're working down here in this box and you see we just went into um, our our files our backup files and then we clicked on this WP content and you want to go to um, uh, you want to check uh, uploads isn't here but in your WordPress you're gonna I'm gonna make a new folder and I'm just gonna call it uploads just so for this purpose normally it would already be there uh, but since this is a clean install and I've never uploaded any pictures or anything to WordPress it hasn't created uh, that uploads folder yet so I just created it just so you can see it there um, but you would go into this uploads folder and then you're gonna see dated folders in there as well and you're gonna wanna kinda peek through those folders really quickly to make sure that um, that all of your information is there that uh, all of your pictures have downloaded and everything like that um, sometimes FTP has a tendency to forget things so you wanna make sure that all of your files have, have got, got gotten down to your computer especially in this uploads folder uh, that's the one you want to kind of again pick through you're going to see dates um, 2015 2014 2013 depending on how long you've had your site and then it's going to break down into months uh, 01 02 03 04 05 and so on and so forth um, and then down to your pictures so you want to just kind of scan those files again uploads take a peek they would all be seen here even though there's nothing here but you'll see them in yours um, another thing you can check is themes uh, make sure your theme is there um, again this is a base install of WordPress so I just have the base WordPress themes but you're gonna wanna make sure those are in there if you use the child theme um, you're gonna wanna make sure that any kinda CSS that you added or anything like that has moved over down into your uh, into your file there so a quick check of all of the files it'll literally take you 30 seconds a minute to kinda flip through those files uh, and just make sure they're there and that can save you a lot of pain when you go to upload uh, what I like to do again in my downloads uh, when I download uh, WordPress um, I put the database right into this backup just like that and uh, with that you always have the database and the backup and the WordPress and all of it is all right there nice and neat in this one folder so um, I did that uh, a lot of the reason I did it with a base install of WordPress without a theme or pictures or anything like that um, it's just that it made the video go a lot faster if I had a site with content in it uh, you know it would take so much longer to download via FTP and uh, and you may experience that so uh, plan on you know download time maybe take five ten minutes to get all your files down to your desktop uh, so just go ahead and just be aware of that um, if you have any comments or questions leave them uh, in the section below and uh, you know definitely like and subscribe to video if you want to see more um, or if you have a request for a video on something go ahead and uh, leave that in the comments as well and I'll do what I can to get to that uh, thanks again for watching appreciate you guys and uh, have an awesome day